everybody. Hope you're having a great Sunday. This is Brian back with a uh, look at Bitcoin. All right, you can see this wedge, um, the yellow wedge here that was forming up. All right, you can see it here, down, right up through here. Okay, now it was forming another uh, uh, support line down through here, this yellow. Uh, bar coming up here. All right now yesterday this thing ended up losing this wedge um, Posted a short over in discord um, if, if you're interested in that I'm gonna make this short and sweet uh, Please sign up for a level 3 membership 1499 gets you uh, nine hours of videos 20 plus videos to teach you how to do this stuff and also get you in our discord Where everybody posts some great trades over there. We posted this Bitcoin short yesterday um, I don't know we've had four or five six winners in the last few days over there so we had a couple that did not materialize we didn't take the trades but uh, we were watching them um, look like they're possibly working out today but we ended up taking this it ended up bouncing back up through here okay Bitcoin came back up looked like it was gonna break back into this wedge it came up to 52,000 um, then ended up this looked like a wave four all right if you go in on a 15 minute chart and look at this thing if you zoom in on this all right if you were looking at this this looks like a one two three four and then you'd expect a, a fifth wave up which would have blasted us out the top side of that wedge now trend based fib on this from the bottom to the top to the retracement would have put us right at that right up around that 702 fibonacci level all right i didn't get that exactly on the top here right there all right right up around that 702 which would have came would have been kind of crazy you know how that would have coincided did that work out no it ended up uh, pulling short on a fifth wave you can see it right here one two whoops hold on one second there i apologize one two three four and this fifth wave just barely took out wave three all right just barely came right up to the top of this wedge i'm sure everybody was thinking oh here we go break out to the top side nope got rejected fell right back down here where it ended up forming this um this support line right here okay now you can see it's also broke it um and you can see Bitcoin is possibly making a move to the downside. Any move to the upside would be a break above, uh, you know, these these white lines are four hour support and resistance areas. Um, you know, it, I would think that if it broke above 52, then, then it's heading up. All right, now, um, obviously we're on the bottom edge of that right now. It's came back up. It, like I said, it looked like it was going to regain it instead to retested it as resistance came down Retested it another time as resistance and it's come down and it's lost this support line here So where could this pullback possibly go to let's take a look You know if it confirms if it does not bounce back up <clears throat> Excuse me and take out this 52,000 level and head to the upside um, Let's see here if we take a fib Please, guys, really consider you know signing up. Just this Fibonacci is worth, man, oh man. If this thing costs money, I would pay whatever they wanted for it. And this is your number one tool for trading, in my opinion, a um, hundred percent. You know, if you were looking for a pullback down here yesterday, if you got your Fib out right on the six one eight nailed it right on the head okay now this pull down here where could it be heading to 618 or 702 you know if you take a measured move if it works the move of the wedge here you know which technically it is a breakdown of the wedge you know it would put us right between that 618 and 702 if it turns around takes out 52,000 and heads to the upside you'd be looking you know just past the 702 fib level 53,300 ish level all right just right above 53,000 but uh any kind of pullback you know i would be watching for an area right down uh, let me grab it here you know right down here somewhere i would imagine you know that that's where it should catch um, and, and possibly head back towards the upside here now of course we came so close to this 702 fib 
boy oh boy at 53,000 and this thing is right on I went in and fine-tuned it it's right on okay we ended up coming up to uh, about 52.9 and uh, this thing is right at right about 53,000 bucks now if we look at the RSI's here let's go out in a four hour uh, the four hour is actually uh, trying to roll over all right it was heading up it's at a 47 and a 46 and you can see it's showing weakness uh, down here it's below the moving average right down here in the bottom on this RSI it's came back up and it retested uh, the moving average as resistance and it's getting pushed down here out on the eight hour uh, we're at a 23 and a 20 and you can see here we had bearish divergence working out here we had this high let me zoom get this out a little bit further we had this high on the chart here we had a higher high we had a lower high on uh, um, the rsi and then we had a lower high after that but these are the two that you're concerned about you had a high here should have been a higher high in the rsi it was a lower high so you got bearish divergence there on the eight hour which would be you know pointing towards the downside uh your 12 hour uh you did not have bearish divergence on it but the 12 hour is at a two and a seven still technically bearish and your daily uh is at a 91 and a 95 all right this it, quite honestly this thing could pull back deeper than that you know if you come down here you know it could pull down right down to right about fifty thousand bucks you know i would be yeah right around fifty thousand you know it, it, it could pull down into there all right uh, especially with this daily where it's at you know so um i i would definitely you know be watching right in this area here we'll know more as this thing plays out but i would be watching right through here you know fifty thousand is that fifty thousand six hundred to fifty thousand bucks you know especially if it pulls down that's where i'd be looking now on a week on a weekly this thing is still bullish 49 to 29 and then on the monthly we're still at that 100 and 100 we still have not uh gotten any kind of uh bearish movement yet that tick down here yet that we're watching for but boy oh boy getting close to that 702 you know does it have one more one more push up before any major uh pull back here and we'll see you know it uh it's it's been a run up it's never this easy guys i've been in crypto uh over four years now i was here for the last bull run it's never this easy you know it, it, it has just on a daily look at all these green candles i mean it, it just doesn't work that way it's about time uh you know bitcoin gives us a smack back to reality here pretty soon so uh be prepared for that you know uh, watch for this pullback if we get it down here i posted this over in discord yesterday and um you know i was i was thinking yesterday it was going to come down to here um when it, especially once it started this breakdown um it did come down to that 618 and got that bounce but i was expecting it to come possibly lower really towards that fifty thousand mark so keep an eye on bitcoin if it breaks this level right here at uh right about you know 51 51 550 51 6 uh you know it could pick up steam then and really start coming down here you do have another four hour support you know right below that at about 51 about 51 5 all right you do have another four hour support where it could uh could grab on for a little bit but you know you can see this big move here below these support levels you know um don't have a whole lot of support that back down through here once it starts moving so it could move pretty rapidly like it did yesterday look at this four hour candle how fast it moved down you know so keep an eye on this like i said any move above fifty two thousand, it's probably going to break up to the upside uh, if it keeps uh, coming down here um just keep a very close eye on this thing like i said right here was a support level that it ended up losing right up through let's get this on here right have this all drawn out here right up through here yeah you can see it uh 
it's probably pulling back up retesting it now as resistance look at that pushing back up here yeah that's probably exactly what it's gonna do it's probably gonna get rejected right there in a the 15 minute uh, just about reset on a 15 minute so thing uh keep an eye on it keep an eye on bitcoin today um watch for these targets i told you for and uh, so far it looks like the push to the downside all right guys thank you very much have a great day and i'll talk to you soon